beautiful friends. So, listen to this little Mercury retrograde. Okay, well, first of all, I have to say an introduction, right? <laughs> I like hop on into my. This is like how it is to be my friend. Like last night, I didn't. I haven't seen one of my friends for like a month, if not more. And instead of like, hey, how are you? We like jump straight into conversation as if like we were literally just having a conversation. So, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe so that YouTube algorithm likes me. Don't forget to put a post notification bell. Leave a comment. I actually do read you guys' comments and I love seeing those of you guys like Rudy and people who comment consistently. So, shout out to you. So, it's a beautiful Monday. We're back for a vlog. So funny, I brought my vlogging camera and I left the SD card at home in my laptop because I was, I guess last time I was editing my vlog, I forgot to put the SD card back. So in my head, I took my vlogging camera, which like is more flattering. Like right now I'm vlogging like raw dog on my phone, you know, so it's not the most flattering. It really just shows any flaws <laughs> um and i brought the sd card so it's kind of funny it's like a little mercury retrograde kind of energy because i don't i don't really i really rarely forget the card to be honest i usually put it back in my camera um but nevertheless we're not gonna let that stop us we're not gonna let that stop a vlog so it's monday and right now it's really just interesting how life organizes events in your life so recently i've been really wanting to go to pole more just like myself just go to the studio and kind of like dance and play and make you know make choreography and fun stuff like that uh as you know i teach a new choreography weekly at my class melt links down below so if you're watching this it's tuesday it'll be on tomorrow evening if you can't come live you still get the full recording and i released a um instant access course so it's four melt classes so it's four hours of class four full classes you get to keep called melt volume one which a lot of you guys are loving so yeah i just love creating new choreography and i love playing around and i create i like have fun just playing around and learning new things obviously go to class weekly which is like great to refine your skills also learn new things but i feel like i have the most fun when i just go to the studio especially with a friend someone else a fellow pole friend and i've been wanting to do that but my schedule has been really just not allowing for it i was having just a lot of just, you've, you've seen me vlog right like either i'm you know working on lift orders and for me i'd want i need to go right now you know it gets dark very early it gets dark at like five o'clock and so i'd have to go basically before five but ironically like i'd like to do most of my work like if i'm shipping orders if i'm doing client calls if i'm teaching something if i'm working on something i like to do that during the day right when the sun is out and so i haven't been able to go and then it's been like an intention that i've been wanting to go and it's like life arranged all of it this week for me like i'm going today with one of my pole friends it just magically like aligned for us to be able to go today and then um and then my i'm going with another friend later this week and i might be even going a third time with another pole friend this week so it's like it's when it's really beautiful i guess when you have an intention and you let it organically align instead of forcing it so what i mean by that is like i could have easily booked studio time last week or the week before but it didn't feel right in my body and this is a big thing that i teach in a lot of my work and just kind of like a mini lesson i'd love to share with you is that when you so people a big question i get is like what's the difference between ego versus intuition and the easiest way that i can explain this phenomenon to you is by is through this so your ego is when something doesn't feel right in your body and you're trying to go in mental loops to justify it to yourself like you're just in your head having conversations in your head thinking about it from the north from the south from the west from the east you're looking at it from every direction and it just doesn't sit right and your mind is just trying to find like one piece of narrative that can soothe the body but your intuition aka your body's wisdom knows it's not in alignment intuition is often when something doesn't make any logical sense and it just feels right so you might be like i know i need to contact this person or i know i need to go here or i know i need to read this book or i know that i shouldn't do this or i should do this like intuition is like you don't need to know the logic so sometimes someone will ask me to hang out and i'll like a special advance and really in advance so like let's say they're like oh can you hang out on february 9th and i can like in my body it's really wild i've gotten really good at this feel if that day feels right or not logically february 8th and february 9th for example for me could look schedule wise 
like the same day and logically speaking that activity could fit into either day but i'll feel in my body energetically what day feels like resistant and what day feels good and then it's always whenever that time comes something occurs where that was the right day for example like let's say that day comes and then the day that i was that i knew didn't feel right i was really really tired or i actually needed to rest or i got a different opportunity or whatever it may be and that day that i intuitively knew even though at that point i had no logical evidence of why not didn't work and the opposite the other day did work right so it's really kind of beautiful so for example my one friend invited me last wednesday to go to poll um, I didn't get a good night's sleep because on Tuesday night I go to pull really pretty late and it's not really good to work out before bed Like I was going to give you sleep tips, which maybe I can share some sleep tips in here as well I definitely would not recommend working out before bed and because though in my body it was like such a full body you now My body was like no like you need rest like absolutely not today ended up working out So that's just like a little bit of logic versus intuition of just trusting your body when making decisions because then you're gonna have so much less anxiety because whatever sits well with you is what's right for you right like if you have to create mental loops and narratives and stories for you to justify something it's most likely out of alignment and you just don't want to admit it to yourself sometimes i'll really want to do something logically like my logical mind is like oh wednesday like oh i really do want to go to pole i really want to like go dance in the daytime because my classes now that it gets dark it's dark in the evening and i don't really love filming content in that dark lighting i think it's like nice and fun and if you go to my instagram right now most of the videos are like in that dark lighting but i prefer daytime lighting for pull videos myself i just i'm a daytime girl okay and you know people say like i come alive in the nighttime i'm the opposite i go to bed in the nighttime you know i come alive at 7 30 a.m <laughs> just kidding um I wouldn't say like I'm a morning person either like it takes me like a little bit I'm like an afternoon person is that a thing I'm a 1 to 2 p.m sometimes 12 but I'm like a, a 1 p.m it really hits I feel like I'm my best self at 1 p.m um but essentially like I really wanted to go but my like my logical mind is like I want to get content I want to go then but my body just knew so just as you move through your week this week I invite you to play with that a little as you're making decisions however big or small whether you're like your friends asking if you want to go to this coffee shop or that coffee shop before you just agree feel into your body what you're actually drawn to what's actually a yes for you what's actually a no for you right just begin to feel into that with curiosity you might be surprised that of how many decisions you're making on autopilot or just making from the mind without thinking and the beautiful thing that happens is when you honor your body and all the decisions you make that's how life begins to feel ooey gooey yummy delicious right a lot of feminine work we talk about feeling really yummy pleasurable mm, like eat it all up and having life feel like that well how you create a life that feels like that is you consistently reference your body and your decisions even something as silly as this when my friend asked me she's like would you rather go today at three from she's like what time do you want to go like i could go we could go from three to five and i was like three to four like four to five didn't feel at the time like yummy in my body i my, i think it's because i was like oh i'll be traffic driving back i just had resistance to it but three to four i was like that mean where she's like i was like three to four that feels good i know i'm giving small examples right but you can obviously elevate this to scale also so funny i'm literally driving my camera so i have to kind of watch out for police officers um because i literally have my phone out like very vibrantly or um revealing content no but when you, it's by referencing your body so if you're making think about it this way if you're living your life and you're making all your decisions from your mind without referencing your body and how those decisions feel of course when you live your life it might not feel good in the body because the decisions weren't made through the body the decisions were made mentally so as you're in that scenario so let's say you agree to something that logically made sense but didn't feel good in your body when you're there your mind might be like i should be enjoying this but your body might be like i am not enjoying this but if you can consistently consistently reference your body right through the decisions that you're making then when you're in those scenarios they're going to feel really good and if you do this consistently enough with every decision you're making as much as possible and when you mess up don't think of it as failure like think of it as feedback think of it as like okay i didn't reference my body and i made this decision logically and then um and i went it didn't feel good in my body cool um even like so funny today my husband's like let's go grab coffee during the day and it didn't feel good in my body because <laughs> i my, my what i intuitively really did want it to do is my capricorn moon i really wanted to get some work done that felt really good to me like my body was like getting work done feels nourishing i'm a capricorn moon you guys i love working creating and my i was like mm, my body was like i really want to stay home and work but then i was like you know like 
he has like you know he's inviting me to coffee like we should go like I talk about prioritizing your marriage or relationship so my logical mind is like you should go and the whole time I'm at coffee it's like that real audio where it's like da 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 because it's just like obviously you know it's like you're just like with someone you hang out with all the time and we're there and we're just like staring at each other and he's like I know you want to be at home doing your work but in any other day another day might be the opposite my body might be really craving intimacy and connection and all of those things and not craving work so it's just about honoring like where where you are in the moment I know I'm going like on a tangent with this but it's so powerful and I think that it's like a really easy way that you can begin to really access like your feminine magic is by just consulting your body so even when you're like yeah making plans or deciding where to go deciding what time to do things like it's down to the detail you guys so like first of all big picture things ask yourself do I even want to do this or not that's like the first step right someone invites you to something do I want to do this or not first step step two when do I want to do this so 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 like you might the same activity might feel like a no one day but feel like a yes another day so for me I don't like to do for me like beauty things so if I'm ever gonna get my nails done or my hair done I'm really weird about the days like I don't like to do that, that kind of stuff on Monday or Wednesday I know that's like so weird like I'd rather do it on a Tuesday oh my gosh come on let me through let me through let me through don't be rude or Tuesday, ideally a Friday because Friday is ruled by Venus. But so like essentially the same activity could feel like a yes one day and like a no another day. So first tune in, do I want to do this? What day do I want to do this? What time do I want to do this? Who do I want to do this with, right? Like there's so many layers. Where do I want to do this? And you don't do it in overwhelming, right? You don't, it sounds overwhelming when I'm like laying out steps, but it's like very subtle, right? So you just like, when, when an opportunity comes to you, you just feel into it. You don't have to sit there and reorganize your whole life. I mean, you kind of can if you want, but like essentially just create moving forward. That's just like a really big theme for me recently is trying to consult my body. And for me, I'm a Gemini, so I'm so mercurial. My Mercury is in Taurus, which is like its home placement. So my mind is like my creative power source. So it's a really big practice for me to come into the body consistently because I'm just such like an intellectual, such an intellectual being. So, um, you know, being a philosopher and being up for a Nobel Prize, no, I'm kidding, but gosh, I heard like wee, 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 and I was like, um, but I'm mean, very intellectual. So for me, it's been a big process to drop into the body. I think people who maybe have more water in their chart might be a little bit easier, but for me, it's like a really consistent practice to live in the body versus living in the mind because like I literally live mentally in my own little fantasy land I feel like sometimes and like grounding down and really embodying the energy that I'm wanting to experience rather than just experiencing it mentally is really really powerful and not disconnecting from your body because you're the most powerful when you're the most powerful manifester when you bring your energy into the body it's like people when they have a spiritual awakening they start opening up to higher realms so they're like getting visions and information and can feel floaty and kind of it feels really good in the beginning i feel like it's like this astral orgasm massage <laughs> like where you're like floating in the clouds okay we're gonna we might have to put the phone down for a sec as we get on the freeway um, but how you become a really powerful manifester is when you're able to bring that energy, so that cosmic energy that you're experiencing, but you're able to bring it down into physicality. And that was a big learning experience for me as well. So sunny. It's really good though. It was raining and I felt like my serotonin was dropping. It was like, it's rained for three weeks in the first two weeks. Even the first three weeks, I was like, all right, this is fine. This is nourishing. And then when it was raining on Saturday, I really wanted to be outside. I really wanted to go to the farmer's market and do all this stuff. And it was pouring rain. And I literally, to my husband, was like, we're going. Like, we're still going. He's like, babe, like, it's literally pouring rain. Like, Mia's going to be soaked. <laughs> so then we didn't go. And I was so upset. I was like, just, yeah. Anyway, we need sunshine. I don't know how people live in the Pacific Northwest. It's really beautiful there. And I have a client who lives in the Pacific Northwest who I love. Ashley, if you're watching this, it's crazy to have rain all the time. Uh uh uh, stay, 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 sir. This man in a Prius just wanted to get in front of me so aggressively. Wait your turn. All right, so it's 14 minutes. We've obviously vlogged for a long time now, so I'm gonna stop talking. And uh, I, if you want to see it, I, I, I'm not gonna make vlog. I don't think too much at the pole place because I'm going to kind of like get in the zone but if you ever want to see pole content I post a lot of my content on reels like if you want to see videos dancing if you ever want to work learn with me and dance you can join me on Wednesdays 
but you can also grab Melt Volume 1 because it's calling to you. And I, I think the people ask me a lot, is it worth it to have a pole at home? I think it's amazing to have a pole at home because you have your own safe space to learn. You can flow in your own way. You know, it's like a private little haven for yourself. I can link the one I recommend. I don't know if I link it. I have no affiliation with them. It's the X Pole one, and it's the 45 millimeter. And I like the chrome finish. If you're asking me, there's many finishes, many, many widths. The traditional width is 45 millimeter. It's very rare a studio ever have a 50 millimeter. Um, and chrome is my favorite. I feel like it's the best grip. I've heard bra like brass is good too, but I don't know. I just I'm used to chrome, so I like that finish. And I can link the grip I use on Amazon too. It's my favorite grip. A lot of pole dancers use dry hands. I tried it. I just like this other grip. I don't know what it's called. It's like in a blue bottle on Amazon. I have, like I've ordered so many of them. It's my go-to. It doesn't leave you feeling crusty. It just dries out the moisture out of your hands and lets you have a good grip without feeling like you, cause like dry hands is essentially like a liquid chalk. So it feels like a liquid chalk. This product is more like it just dries out the moisture so you have a better grip. Just little life hacks, just little pole life hacks for you guys. Okay, let's go. This ball, look. <laughs> Like, what are you going to do about it? Someone have this toy. Because I have this toy. <laughs> 